Well, everybody, we survived the night. Fire is all the way up here this morning. Almost had to evacuate last night. And now it's time to go catch fish. Luckily, because uh, it's so scary out here, nobody's fishing today. Today's gonna be a lot of fun. It's a smoky, hazy day, but it's supposed to be 100 degrees. It's gonna be beautiful out. We're steelhead in the river. We got the entire place to ourselves. And we're doing a really interesting kind of fishing here today. Fishing for salmon and sea run trout, steelhead and the little half pounders that might be around as well. And uh, we're doing it with a bug and bubble. This time of year up here, there's no bait, no anything like that, no gear, it's completely fly restriction. But we're gonna be using flies on a spinning rod with a sweet little setup. So you have to stay tuned to see that. So let's hop in the boat, let's get our rods ready, let's go fishing. Just going with the 10 count of your bug. Boat Rambo! Boat Rambo! So what those half pounders are, are they, they're like a, they're juvenile steelhead basically. Uh, if anyone in the world knows what a jack salmon is, it's a salmon that goes out to the ocean, actually only lives out there for six months to a year, and then migrates back into the river because there's enough food in the river to sustain them, and, and they want to be in that fresh water. So they'll come back in for a short period of time, you know, five to eight months, even sometimes shorter, um, even days sometimes, and then they'll go right back out to the ocean and get bigger, and they'll come back and forth all through their life cycle, correct? Yes. Or do those, are those like jacks where they stay that small forever? No, they won't, they'll grow up. Like this year's half pounders will be next year's adult steelhead. Pounder City, dude. <laughs> nice. it almost looks like a cutty. It'll Go see on that. It does. It is a cutty, yeah. isn't it? I'm gonna do this if that's all right. Yeah, you're all good. Oh wow! Look at that beautiful little thing. That's a half pounder. Beautiful, great start to the morning. Another little wild happy. Good, hey, buddy. It's a big cutty, I think. Oh, God, ass. I need that. That's wild. A little wild. A little wild scene. Come on, I'm just going to show you to the world and then let you go. Make it easy. Well, Mr. Cutthroat gave this little guy away. It's a nice little, what, 23, 24 inch steely? Not even, probably. Right at 21 or so. Thank you, little fella. Have fun. Well, that was cool. Right on, on man. Big, on the big bug. Yeah. They're eating that big bug, man. That's all they want. You pointed me in the right direction there. Oh, oh he was that, there too. That had weight to it. Dang it. I just heard I gave it, I gave him head. Oh. I gave him his head. He turned his head. Damn it. I got I was too jumpy. <laughs> I, I had a feeling, I just, my eyes just saw that little line over there. That looked better too. Ah, it definitely yanked. Yep. Oh, that's a good one too. Good fish, good fish. Yeah. Nice. That is it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> So one thing we try to do, especially with wild steelhead, is if you don't have to, when it's like this size where we might be able to manage it, we might lose a fly or something, but 
We don't want to put wild steelhead in the net as often as we don't have to, so that one is a little wild fish. Especially in a river like this, these fish are going back and forth to the ocean throughout their entire life, so we want to quick release. Perfect. <laughs> nice, dude. That was a cool fish. Really? A little jumper. They're getting progressively bigger. <laughs> Each fish is just that much bigger. So that was awesome. Four nut bite. Four nut bite. I was over here munching some corn nuts. Nothing my bobber just do its thing. That's a big fish. And I'm going to take it really easy on him. Did you get a look at that already? I didn't get to Watch see him this. yet. Watch this. Shiny. <laughs> That's a big shiny. He's going to keep his head down until we get to this soft water. Because he's going to go for a mega jump. I can feel it. Look at him. Oh, that's a nice fish, dude. You know, honestly, if I don't bust my, bust my deal, I might just do the old fashion here. The old door opener. Come on, big guy. That's hilarious, just the way the current is. This fish hasn't gained one foot this entire time. <laughs> just been able to play him. Tie him out with the current here. Wow, what a nice fish. you hold that? That's a little slimy. So the reason I'm doing this, you guys, the reason I'm trying to let it go like this is because, once again, this is really really pretty wild steelhead and we try not to put them in the net that's why we have our addictive landing nets but we don't have one here today What a beautiful fish. Just an absolute specimen. Right. It's a beautiful steelhead. I'll let her go now. Nice, dude. That was awesome. Wow. What a cool fight. Beautiful fish. Just perfect. On the big bug, man. On the big bug, man. It's a big bug kind of day. They're liking the fire. Thank you. 
it. Sir, is it a hatchery? Nope. No. Not today. Like, his maxillary was all messed up. It's snowing ash right now. Very, very ominous look to the skies right here. Super fishy if you ask me. Comment below with what you guys think of all this. Did you go out and chase steelhead in, a, in, a, in the path of a wildfire? I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of no's, but you know, we had this trip planned for a long time. We were allowed to go, they didn't have the boat ramps closed, and we went for it, and it turned out to be an amazing day. So drop a comment below, drop a thumbs up if you think this is crazy, drop a thumbs up if you think it's awesome. We're gonna run some rapids. So Alex just got a little text alert update, I believe from the shuttle driver that the, uh, just about 20, 30 minutes ago, the sheriff ordered the river closed through the section that we're on. So hopefully we can at least get the boat out. And the last one just had caution tape. Um, but I think we're getting a little fishy out here. All right, everybody, well, we got the executive order to get off the river, the sheriff. We got to the boat ramp finally and the sheriff actually just got here with his jet boat. He's coming to look for us. So the fire got that close to the water. They shut it down. They evacuated everybody's homes. We got right off the river just in time. We're on the, the opposite end, it looks like, of the fire. So we're going to head back to Alex's, reconvene, see if we can't find a bank plan for this evening, go do something else. But I've been excited. It's been a crazy day so far. Got some steelhead, got some fish, outran a fire, got some fish and probably the most ominous setting I've ever seen. So let's load the boat up, let's get a plan together. Be sure to comment below with what you think of the day so far. I know I'm having fun. Things are seeming to get weirder by the second. Just ran and got some food before we embark on our next little adventure here. There seems to be reports of arson and different stuff like that happening all over the place around here. Uh, so it looks like another fire has just broken out right on the freeway here. Not sure what's going on, but it looks like it's gridlocked, everything's stopped. Some sort of structure or building is fully engulfed right now, just exploding. So we're getting out of Dodge. The plan is, said bye to Alex, said our thank yous, said everything else. If you guys have never seen us fish with Alex before, be sure, check out a link in the subscription, get out and fish with him down here when this kind of craziness isn't happening. Um, but get down, visit Alex, see what it's all about. But big thank you to Alex. We're gonna start heading towards the coast and try to outrun these fires a little bit. Um, dodging these road closures and all this craziness going on is gonna be a little tougher than expected, but we're gonna do our best. People all around us are getting evacuated. There's fires busting out everywhere from here all the way back home. So we're gonna try to keep this show on the road. We're gonna try to keep fishing. So we're heading to the coast. We're heading out of the city. We're getting out of Dodge. And hopefully we can find some fish in a nice camp spot for the night. Don't worry, kind stranger. We've been avoiding danger this whole time. And it is fishy. Ow, 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 daddy. All right, initial observation of camp for the night. It smells smoky. It feels nice and cool. It looks absolutely beautiful. And what's it taste like? Fish. Well, everybody, that pretty much wraps up day one of fishing down in southern oregon here in the ring of fire one thing is i'm kind of walking back to the truck reflecting this evening definitely want to give a huge shout out 
to all the people who are losing their homes and uh, property and livestock and family and you know their entire lives in these wildfires I'm not trying to make lightheartedness on a terrible situation down here but our thoughts and prayers are with all of you out there across the west or across the u.s this year in 2020 where these wildfires are just sweeping through places where they normally don't burn and destroying a lot of a lot of people's lives so our thoughts and prayers and love are with you guys out there whether you're fellow addicts of fishing or not we hope everything is okay and we hope everybody's safe out there but if you guys want to ride along for more of the adventure see what happens tomorrow i'm really excited i think it's going to be a fantastic day so if you're going to want to be sure to go down here hit subscribe turn that little bell on because we're going to be having this next video come out next week and you guys are not going to want to miss the rest of this ring of fire adventure so for those of you who do not believe us this is actually how we're sleeping tonight a little there's sean still editing so he can get this awesome stuff to you guys. There's some toilet paper and a fishing reel. Some binoculars and stuff. And that's bed for the night, so night everybody. He's right behind him. He's right behind him. Got him! Oh my god! Oh! Yeah! 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 Yeah!